dangerous is when there is a lack of transparency and a lack of disclosure about where the money's coming from. We have campaign rules which in the UK stop donations being made to political parties anonymously, but they can be made to third party groups like the think tanks in particular. Um, and so this is where, I mean, for example, they're not donations to MPs that they're making, they're paying for trips on their behalf, but they don't need to disclose who originally paid for the trips. So there are lots of these things which are built very much around the rules in the UK, which allow donors to wield a significant degree of influence. And it's all done in the name and banner of the Henry Jackson Society, but we don't know who's producing it really, because the Henry Jackson Society isn't openly admitting to this. Mm. And this isn't unusual, far from being the only think tank to do that. Indeed. And, and Paul, what does say about, um, you know, the, the effect on democracy then, right? Because you want a government to be able to come up with its own policies and not to necessarily be influenced by just one group. Well, I don't think the government's just, the UK government's just influenced by one group. It's influenced by a, a lot of different groups. So I, I don't think that would hold. But, but the general point is, uh, is that think tanks do have and always have had a place in uh, in democratic politics. It's a way of ensuring that outside interests have some kind of say uh, in in party politics. Of course, most um, governments have relied strongly on a particular think tank. You know, in for Labour for the Labour Party, it's often been the Fabian Society, uh, for example, or. or you know some of the other uh, think tanks in 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 the UK's case. Sorry, in in the Conservative Party's case, uh, it's it's not exclusively uh, the Henry Jackson Society. In fact, most governments tend to rely on the Downing Street Policy Unit as as a key uh, driver of their of their policies. So I think think tanks have always had a role in in UK politics. And I wouldn't uh, agree with the idea that, uh, that they've completely lost their own decision policy making capability. But, you know, it is it is outsourced to some of these organisations.